Well, that was a little odd. Hi, folks! Welcome to Book of Dawn I at the Academy. I'm Tormented by Gnomes. I'll be your Game Master. Joining us right here at the front, we've got... Oh, it's weird when I do it out of order. My brain has everyone, like, it has the whole shtick the just, two. like, in order. Lemon, exactly. Kiwi, and Necra. I was getting there. I, I didn't forget who you were. My brain just pitched for a moment. That's all. We <laughs> we've got... Lemon Kiwi and Necra here on our Magic School 5th Edition Dungeons and Dragons adventure. Uh, Lemon Kiwi, how's life? How are things? What's going on in your world? Good. I just, I just got alarmed by an ad. Sorry. Uh, I also had a sausage, so I am fed, moisturized in my lane. Well, hoping to stay in my lane. I'm, I, I kind of be drifting the sage's lane a little bit. I um. My brain is terminally online, and so I thought you were saying something was sus when you talked about the sausage. Sausage. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I need serious, serious help. Sassage. I need to touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> Necro, what's going on? Long time no see. I know, right? Wow. What, what, it feels like forever since I've mm -hmm. seen you. How mm -hmm. strange. How strange. Uh if you guys aren't in on the joke, well, that sucks. Uh, but we, 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 we sucks played D and D suck. yesterday, so it, you know, go go check that out. But mm -hmm. <laughs> plug, plug, stick, stick. So, yeah. uh, leg day should be joining us sometime soon, and Crowen should be joining us at the break. When we last left our heroes, they had completed a very eventful dinner with the Dokel Far Sage. They only ate some of the underground mushroom food. Uh, spells were cast. Secret, secrets were revealed. And at the end of it, the sage departed the academy to the surprise of most of the rest of the teachers, putting her investigation on pause to consult with the titan, Railta, oh, yeah. about the threat posed by Athalor's mysterious uncle and whatever it's connecting to in the hungry dark. Our students are left back to their own devices as the rhythms and the systems of IOTH Academy begin spinning up once more, resuming some semblance of normal life. Even though the sphere protecting the school is weakened, even though the Fey incursions are becoming more and more frequent, people are still going to classes, doing homework, trying to act like they're students at a school instead of being trained in a world haunted by infernals and worse. Ariana, you had a long dinner with the sage before the three of them entered the room and uh, pretty much shared almost your entire life story up to arriving at IOTH Academy. What transpired afterwards, you were not party to. So, where was I? <laughs> like, canonically, uh, uh, where was my character? Can canonically, not going to lie, you were eating. <laughs> you're just i just so checked out food. like i've talked enough i'm gonna focus on the, the glorious underground mushrooms in front you know what that's very ariana and i can appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I was uh i'm gonna go ahead and patch in leg day so we can hear him i'll let you know when he's on the air Woo. hello sleepy Good morning. Mr. Legs, can you hear us? Maybe not. Oh, Wait, singular Mike moment. Mm -hmm. It will fade into the nether. <laughs> oh. It do be like that. <laughs> Our boy Athelor has a lot on his mind. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Ah, just go XLR things. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> know that too well. How's uh, it going? How you doing, bud? Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh it's been a big it's been a big long day. Mm. <laughs> good morning, sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Athelor after getting some traumatic news goes and just trances for like eight hours to <laughs> put his brain <laughs> off of things. And midterms are tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You've got that right. After the sage has departed IOTH Academy, our heroes are left to their own devices. Back in their classes, they have their midterms for their electives this week. 
So the way this is going to work is I'm going to leave it to you. As usual, you have the right to invoke a scene at any location where your characters might happen to be. Ariana is only somewhat aware of everything that transpired between the three of you and the sage. Renan doesn't have midterms. He's been excused from midterms on the account of having been born yesterday. So he (laughs) is not studying with your group at the moment. He's also not a member of the Codex, so he's not involved in any of that nonsense whatsoever. Which leaves the three of you to go about your studies. Now, you can start studying, and if you recall, the way that the studying phase works is any skill you can justify that would help you study can work. Whether you're uh, asking someone else to be your study buddy, spending hours in the library, whatever your method is, as long as you have an explanation for how that skill is helping you to prepare for your exam, you can make a check. If you succeed, you get one reroll on that exam. What if we don't remember what elective we were the <laughs> same? Well, let's, uh, let's go based. over them real quick. <laughs> very very fifth year of limit. us <laughs> it's been you know when was the last time any of you did any school work let's be honest Where am I, I mean i i think it was about six months ago that my teacher got fucking bogged in was... admin in, oh, in you child mean... murder shenanigans oh you know, i think it was six apparently. days ago i <laughs> think the last time we had school was six days ago <laughs> Exactly. Uh, the electives are Otherworld Studies, Underworld Studies, Overworld Studies, which is the, uh, the Sky Kingdom. And fairies. History and Tactics of Battle and Warfare. Oh. Otherworld Studies is Fairies. Underworld so, Studies is Elementals. Overworld okay. Studies is Terra Nimbus Nonsense. And the, okay, each of those that. is going to have specific skills associated with the actual exam. But again, for the studying period, you can do whatever you want. Also, as after school activities are kicking back in and everybody's kind of going about their business, it's whatever you want to do with any spare time you happen to have is up to you. Who's in Underworld with me? Leg? Or no, you're in the fighting class. Uh- yeah, I'm in the I'm in the war class. Did now. you want to trans? Had you wanted to transfer out of that to underworld, and then if so, did you transfer back? Uh, yeah, we we handled transferring back last time mm-hmm. because Athelor Trans uh, went out. We were like, "Yo, we could have a trip, and I could like get some of that Rami shit that we said we needed." <laughs> but it turns out we were just like looting level anyway. twenty bosses' <laughs> cave, and we're like, "Yo, so there's some of that shit here." So I'm gonna dip, bro. See ya. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. All right, excellent. Necro is in uh, uh, Otherworld Studies. Thank you, Mama Shimada. Yes, I remembered now because I was like fairies. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so even though you're in different classes, you can all study together depending on what you're doing in order to prepare. Athalor. One, a lot happened last time. The sage cast some spells and asked some answers of the universe, and the answers the universe gave you may have been unsettling. Aside from studying, is there anything that you're doing in this ensuing week? Um, I think if the there were likely to be some specifics in the class about Bronth and battle tactics, right? Yes. I think that uh, Athelor would try and use his trance memory from going and having, having a little wiggle in uh, mm. the in the Garnet Zone. Uh, okay, to, uh, never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> in the what zone? But Do we zone. know what in that zone? I'll say the toes zone either. Don't <laughs> no, don't like that. Nope. Stop. All right, you know what? We're moving Ooh. on. Oh. <laughs> Actually, that's. Have, have you ever summoned an act of God from pure cringe? <laughs> yeah, eyes of cringe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so it actually worked after I turned off studio mode, which for some reason breaks everything. Um, cool, fickle fate, snatch defeat from victory from defeat and defeat from victory. Good luck with exams. Is that the one in 20 one? <laughs> I think that's the one that swaps one in 20s. Uh, please tell me, please tell me that that's an 
an Athalor specific. We're going to go ahead and even though yeah. it wasn't really his fault and he didn't really mean it, we're still going to throw it on him because disadvantage, <laughs> disciples of disadvantage right again. Oh, yes. But the resident shit roller, let's go. My ones. <laughs> All right. So uh, while I'm pulling that up, you're going to go ahead and just sort of revisit and trance through the memories of all the war room stuff that you saw when you were seeking out her mother. Uh, all the Okay, that seems super reasonable. What skill do you think logically applies to doing that? I will just remember what skills D&D has. <laughs> <laughs> Put up my character sheet in attack mode. <laughs> I'd probably roll history here because it's also like a compare and contrast thing like yeah. to recognize what's <clears throat> in the room slash what the command structure is versus mm -hmm. what Untamola has taught alright so I was wrong about uh, 20s swapping with 1s uh, Athor well. what this does is as a reaction you can force anybody to re-roll a single d20 Immediately after oh, rolling. I, I have universal silvery barbs. Exactly. Oh, Except okay. that as soon as you use it, I get oh, it. Oh, man, why don't my mute work? Very sniffy today. That is unfortunate. <laughs> well, uh, could he use it on himself, too? <laughs> yes, he can use it on himself. But the See? moment that he uses it, now I have it in my pocket, and I can choose when to use mine. Oh, this isn't Project Super Never. We're not flipping Dark Side Point. <laughs> I'm not saying I designed this based on the same mechanic, but, you know, might have. <laughs> okay, cool. I will I will keep my silvery barbs gl glowed in then. <laughs> he keeps that thing on him. All right, go ahead and roll a history check. Yeah. A nine. Like an inspiration here. <laughs> yeah, we got. I think we got some lying around. Let me go ahead and see what chat's giving you. Get them yeah, lucky. We got you, the inspos. You got two inspos right now, so you can burn one. Yeah, I got one for making an owl reference to the rune that works. Nice. That's better. A 21. Ooh. Excellent. All right, so that gives you a reroll on one of your test results, and that reroll doesn't count as inspiration or a lucky dice. So. You're in good Pong. shape. Is there anything else that Athelor is do doing during this week? I know that there's a lot of things going on. You've got Cryus talking about the vault under Tarsal Moor and mirror magic. Uh, you've got the revelation that the sage just dropped on you. You know there's some fey nonsense going on, though that hasn't come up yet for mm -hmm. a while. Anything else Athelor is up to? Would there be anyone in the... Uh... In the academy, could be willing to cast false life on Athalor. False oh. life? Yeah. Wait, can that that could be? I don't. I think that's a self spell. Is it only self? Pretty sure. Hold on. Hold on. I have it. There you go. Mm, yeah, it's self. Yeah. Ah, okay. Never mind then. I'm, I'm thinking health? about tanking so the the golem book. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you be like cries. What does this say? This book, dude. <laughs> it's a re it's a real good read. Oh my god! <laughs> you want to try to get Cryus to read the book? <laughs> it won't make him any more favorably inclined towards you. I no, can tell you I, that. I much. will. I will spare him from the Book of Golems. Okay. The aid spell. I, I. I. In fact, I'm gonna. I'm gonna RP this one step back. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna have Athalor look up spells that could try and bolster his health to tank the book. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a little arcane research then. All right. I actually picked up some rules for this recently. While I pull up this rule supplement that I have, uh, Garnet, how are you preparing? How are you studying? Because uh, it's underworld class about elementals, mm -hmm. I was wondering if you would allow it. Could I study my own guardian shade who is an elemental and just, you know, 
study it as a specimen. Mm. And because I have advantage on magic identifying magical entities, then I would get some kind of advantage. So you want advantage on your roll to get advantage on your roll? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, like being able to use noir as as a as a study makes perfect sense to me. I'm probably gonna call that Arcana with advantage. Feel. I'm gonna call that grabbing a monster. Be oh yeah. Valid. All right, a 24, easy. And then is there anything else that Garnet is up to in this week, given everything that has transpired? Very emo and probably gonna just wait for the midnight session with El now to talk about some some beans that were spilled at the uh, sage v they you know she should probably know that the plan has been folded in half so. okay all right oh that's that's reassuring <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it's all going according to plan the plan has just changed that's all inexorable yep. yeah yes <laughs> okay all right so Ariana. Yes. The in, oh, the intelligence-based caster who struggles in school. How <laughs> are you preparing for <laughs> How are you preparing for your thing with Jiggy? For your I exam? actually would like to go talk to the Boggles. Oh. Say little creatures. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. And what? So what do you... I would make my way down to the maze of illusions. Mm -hmm. Do you have the Apple knife? I would courteously remind her to take the knife. Wait, <laughs> I don't have to. I may got us through that without the knife. Don't you remember? Isn't it a shifting? You know what? Yes, you are. You are an ace. You are a intellect <gasps> titan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this, but I do without the knife. Confidence. I love it. <laughs> I, I just like rolling up to the eternal mode. Like I'm gonna fucking own this. <laughs> I remember I only the way. need to solve it, solve it yeah. once. I don't need Goodbye. a GPS. All right. Do you want to attempt to solve the maze of illusions? Yes. Okay. I feel like I should get advantage because I've done it before very successfully. It shifts every single time, so I will give well, you advantage shit. on one of these rolls. I will give you advantage on one of these rolls. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> What are your methods and techniques for navigating the maze of illusions? Uh, well, I guess I would use Arcana because spells probably make that happen. Because <laughs> magic. <laughs> 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 hmm. Okay, go ahead and roll an Arcana check. You can take your advantage now or you can take it on a different roll. I'm feeling lucky. A 22. Okay. Identifying the magical patterns, knowing that they're illusions, knowing that you have to like figure your way out through it, that's going to help. Um, that's one success on navigation. You need to accumulate three. <laughs> Aside from analyzing the magical patterns, what else you got? Uh, I will also use my insight mm -hmm. because of my past experience. Experience. I'm going to allow that. Roll an insight check to just rely on your memory. <laughs> that didn't look like it worked. A 13. How do you feel about that? Do you want to you know use what? your past experience reroll? No, we're going to go with it. Okay, we're going to ride it out. All right, you are very confident that you're heading the right way. She's not heading the right way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, man. The, the DC for self-delusion is so hard to beat. <laughs> All right. Confident that you have almost located the Boggles' secret area. What else you got in the tank? One thing that I will... Investigation. Great, great option. Analyzing clues, putting looking together for data. Looking Boggle grease. Looking for Boggle grease. Let's see if we can find any clues. Give me that what? investigation check. Ooh. A dirty 20. Now, you really feel like you should have found them by now, but you are tracking down traces of boggle grease and it's intensifying. So you know you're getting close. Okay. What else you got? It doesn't have to be a I skill, it use, can be something else. 
Okay, I was going to say, actually, I want to use persuasion to get the boggles to come to me. I love it. All right, so here, boggle, 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 boggle. <laughs> Go ahead and <laughs> roll persuasion check. Remember that name's a slip and slide, I believe. I'm re-rolling that. Our slip and slide. That's an 11. You use your familiarity re-roll to get a 16. <laughs> okay, you do, in fact, discover slip and slide. And the <laughs> nest that they're... The nest they're building themselves out of stolen objects. Uh, a, a lot of it seems to be like dish trays and cutlery and various little accoutrements from the dining hall. Uh, but there's a couple of other things in there. Some dolls, blank rolls of parchment, a bunch of shredded piles of parchment. Enough quills to have come from an entire plucked goose. A stuffed goose. Uh, some <laughs> shoes. I killed a goose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And having okay. successfully navigated the maze and recognizing you from their terrifying overlord, they're more than happy to assist you and answer all sorts of questions you have about the Fae. So Yay. we'll go ahead and call that a successful studying phase for navigating the maze of illusions. Love it. <laughs> I made it there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need the knife. Didn't need the knife. Get wrecked. Checkmate. Uh, so, aside from studying with the boggles, is there anything else Ariana is doing this week? I guess she would check in with... Did she learn anything at all with her talk with the sage about, like... Or, like, anything about that conversation where <clears throat> she would be more inclined to go back to Sig and say yes to doing more study with him. Mm. They did not I don't... delve further into whatever mysterious power it is that Ariana commands over plants and fire. There's been no progress okay. made on that front, at least not since last you were on the show. Okay, then yeah, I think she would still go back though and talk to Sig about how she does want to actually go forward and do the additional study with him. Okay. What after school activities is Ariana currently enrolled in? <clears throat> you can we pick what now? We can we can get that written down uh later, but I think we're gonna take one of those and say that now that your extra studies with SIG are gonna take one of your after school activity slots. That would make sense. I don't know if she really does anything in her free time except do stuff in the greenhouse or like so you were already there the basically <laughs> yeah cool good enough for me all right yeah unless you count eating in the dining halls and extracurricular <laughs> i don't think she does very much otherwise i don't believe so okay <laughs> athelore what were you doing before you went off to grab that monster <clears throat> You successfully studied by spells. going back through your. You were searching for spells. That's right. Yes, I was. You're looking, looking for, for magic that's to, going to help. Yeah, that'll either mm -hmm. give me resistance to psychic damage, mm -hmm. or will make Athelor generally a, a buff boy versus L Golem damage. Okay, uh, you're spending some time in the library, so dun, let's. Dun, dun. You can make a investigation check to search through various books, or you can make an arcana check to try to just figure out what spells might help. I think the first thing that comes to Athelor's mind here is that uh, fortification against like psychic damage, like a potion be the most effective so investigation probably okay. applies more here so you're looking for a potion uh i i think potion's the first one mm -hmm. because athalor knows that getting his hands on spells can be fairly difficult for a sorcerer build but won't level up for a year and a half uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's a bit more feasible to uh try and get a potion okay all right Could Ariana help with that if she knew that yeah. Athelor was doing this? Yeah, you could absolutely <laughs> help with that. 
Hey, you, you know your your insight on mind altering uh <laughs> <plot>. <laughs> Any of those Got that might you. dull for mind-altering properties of reading a book that keeps fragging me? So a potion of psychic resistance is only an uncommon potion. Ooh. Okay, so that as... I would assume that would be doable. Should I roll investigation negation now? With advantage for Ariana's... Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll investigation. Go ahead and roll investigation. Ooh. Ariana advantage? <laughs> yes. Go ahead and roll yeah. Ariana advantage. Or Ariana can just roll an alchemy tools check. I oh, could do that. that also. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll an, al a, uh, roll an alchemy tools I think check. I have to do that also. <laughs> Intelligence, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is ironic, isn't it? Oh! Ooh. A natural 20. Wow, 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 <laughs> wow, 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 wow. samples? <laughs> okay, so... I've been working on this in the lab. A <laughs> potion of psychic resistance is, one, something that the school has on file, but they're not going to release it unless it's part of, like, a you've written up a proposal of why you need it for scholastic purposes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is something they're more likely to give to the wardens for battle. But Ariana, with the natural 20, you know that a potion of... Psychic resistance takes two weeks to craft. The ingredients to make it costs a hundred gold. Okay. And it requires a magical reagent from a psionic or psychic creature of some kind. And a fairly powerful one at that. A psychic creature? Mm -hmm. A creature with psychic attacks or psychic resistance. Ooh. Do we have a Hagrid at our school? <laughs> a professor of magical beasts and creatures. Uh, well... Wait, you know we're who, doing school role play now. <laughs> you know who took a class on ma identifying magical creatures? <laughs> <laughs> to me. Absolutely, Garnet, Garnet did. Study -o. <laughs> Help us out. Should I roll for that? Or... Enter scene. Yeah, you can do an Arcana check with advantage. Okay, oh, yeah. an 18. Okay, so if you had managed to capture any traces of an Alip, that's a creature that does psychic damage. So the residue or resonance or... Uh, ectoplasm of an alip would d definitely do the trick. Are we about our gobbles? Bloody mirror we had. Wait, Did what about? We we had a hand mirror. Well, it was a big mirror, and then we turned it into a hand mirror. We mm -hmm. used to frag the alip by making it look at itself. That was the mirror that showed the uh, student who became the alip breaking into Ioth's office and looking at Luminius and going berserk. It was the shattered mirror that you put together inside F's tower. What about mm. that goop from Dubasif we picked up? Do you oh, the samples. Somebody yeah, took a we sample? Have a, we have yeah. a vial of Goobasif. A vial of Goobasif <laughs> would do the trick. It would okay. definitely do the trick. Yes. Well, we're about to reach into that vial of Goobasif to make this potion now, aren't we? <laughs> Okay, Ariana, do you want to start working on that? It's going to take more time out of your schedule. Uh, if you start sure. working on that now, it's going to give you disadvantage on one of your study checks because it takes up a lot of your downtime. It's not your study checks, but your actual midterm. So if you start working on it now, it's that's going to impact. Okay. All right, you don't yeah, care? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll totally tell him not to worry degrees, about it. C's get degrees, friends. C's get degrees. <laughs> wrong. Relatable. <laughs> All right. You know, it's funny. Amarid normally would not work for this case, but because he he got jestered. Uncled and yep. jestered. Uncled yeah. and jestered. Yep. It's sufficiently <laughs> mutated. Am. Oh, Lord. Okay. So Athlor is doing a whole bunch of research. Ariana is studying and helping with that research and helping make the potion and spending time with Sig and just suddenly super, super, super busy. And Garnet, you wanted to meet with Master L now, right? Yeah. Okay. Elnau cancels a couple 
of study sessions this week. Um, not all of them, but <laughs> she remember the last one got I canceled. The last one got canceled because she was meeting with the sage. As the sage said, I'm going to have a talk with L now. And depending on the results of that, I will give or withhold my approval for her to become Archmage. So another night is canceled and she says it's, it's school council business. It's Archmage business, but I will see you tomorrow. Go a PTA meeting. Oh, fucking, I'm going to send Una to go fly to her ass. Like, quack, missing your study. <laughs> just to annoy the yeah, shit annoying. out of her and also see what the fuck she's up to. <laughs> okay, you can either stealthily spy on her or you control her, but not in the same breath, right? Not at the exact same moment. What's she's the order alone. of operations here? If she if she's alone, hit her with a caca, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> like, minus the bitch part. <laughs> and if she's not alone, then uh <sighs> And I obviously always send Una with the Arcanist Magic Aura, mm -hmm. with the non-magical part, and just go see what she's up to, report back to all, because I think she's also curious about how the Sage meeting went, because she was hoping okay. to talk to Anna before that, because, mm -hmm. you know, Sage kind of left the building. Is that, like, public knowledge that the Sage fucked off? It, it has become public knowledge. Um, okay. But the Sage, the last thing the Sage did was steal your meeting at midnight and then dip. Okay. So then probably oh, have Una also deliver the message that it's very important to me and it's about the sage. Okay. If that's the case, she is going to put off her council business and go. <laughs> well, I fucking All right. Is, it, is this a power move? <laughs> it's, it is important. It is very important. There roll, are a lot of threatening. Roll a perception check from Una's character sheet, please. Perception is a wisdom. Yeah, if it's not, if Una isn't proficient, it's a wisdom check. I don't think it is. A four. Oh, that's fucking huge. Do you want to spend the inspiration? That was, uh. Yeah, I, think I really need to find her. All right, go ahead and burn All it. All right. A 15. Right. Okay, so Una doesn't have, it's not that Una has trouble finding Master L now, it's a matter of successful eavesdropping. True. Which with a four would have failed, but with a 15, Una's listening in. And you're hearing talk about a transfer of power at the end of the school year. And interim title until then. There's a ritual that has to be conducted that has never been conducted before. And they don't want to risk it until the end of the school year. Risk it? Anything about what is risky about it? Nope. They aren't talking about that. It seems like everyone in the room already understands what the risks are. And is this in, implying that it's L now? No. No. They are, it doesn't seem... Well, I'm not going to tell you any more than that unless you roll an insight check for the bird. For the bird? Insight. Oh, he has a plus three on it. <laughs> Fuck! Nine. <laughs> Yeah, no, no further context than that. Everybody seems to understand what the risks are, and El now is is in the room. It's not like they're talking about her behind her back when these conversations are occurring. With a nine, do I at least know the mood that El now is in? Is she smiling or frowning? <laughs> mm, serious. She's serious. Okay. And slightly irritated because they were supposed to have a further discussion about it tonight, but she has canceled on them. Uh, they're like, what whoops. could possibly be more important? She says, trust me, it's important. Personal affairs. I'll be here tomorrow night. And with that, she'll go ahead and dip. Uh, and meet up with you at midnight in the crypts beneath Tarselmore. She has the staff. She has Ioth's staff with her. She, she keeps that thing on her from now on. God damn it, Bobby. Uh, yeah, I think if Garnet gets there first, she might be kind of trying to rummage through some uh, to see if she can find any Tarselmore notes. Mm -hmm. And see if she can find anything matching with the Titan heart mold that she took from the room. Mm, okay. Well, an investigation yeah, check to 
dig around. You don't have a whole lot of time, so you're not going to get a huge amount of information, but a 14. Most of Tarselmore's presence was scoured from the hall that bears his name, even all the way down here in the crypts. Everything about him, about his experiments, about his history, all of his notes, all of his belongings, it was all cleaned and the enchantments scrubbed and unraveled, except the vault. And the vault is what the Knights of Terra Nimbus were looking for the last time they were down here. Have you ever been down and poked the door to the vault? No. Okay. Well, it's a few rooms over from the crypts where you're supposed to meet. So if you were poking around with it, you mm, actually, it's really not that far away at all. Let me, let me pull it up in a second for our viewers at home. It's kind of just around the corner. So at least like with the 14, I know where the vault is. Yeah. That's it kind of thing. Yeah. And you can get a good look at its door if you want. Do I have to roll perception or? Nope. Well, I'm going to give you that with a 14. So here's the room where you practice magic with, uh, you practice void magic and shadow magic. Here's the door to the vault chamber and here is the vault itself. Cool. And I think we're capturing the wrong window. Yes, we are. I'll have to fix that. Oh, no spoilers were given away. It doesn't matter. Uh, I see it. Let me see if I can actually, because I, uh, I prepped this. And this will be spoilers if I do it wrong. So give me a sec to fix that. I close my eyes? <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, just don't. I'll, I'll fix it. Don't worry about it. The vault okay. door has no obvious seams on it. It looks like a single solid piece of stone. But it does have 110 keyholes on it, arranged in a triangular pattern. Okay, mental a image. A pyramid. I will give you a visual of this as soon as I've fixed my nonsense. Uh, so it has 110 keyholes on it, and inscribed over or underneath this pyramid of keyholes are the words, understanding lies in the heart of my works. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And if I can get this to show the correct thing, then... Any other so questions about that? Keys. We need the Illuminati keys. Yeah, no, no, no question. Just more, more Just questions. More but... questions, no answers, <laughs> as, as I am wont to do. All right, let me, let me show you this. I've, I've set it up. The problem was that I had the solution. I, I have the oh. solution hidden for me. Oh. And I didn't want to show that on stream. Uh -huh. I'll throw the words on there for you, too, and I'll go ahead and boop, let chat see. A hundred and ten keyholes. And they're circular shaped, not key shaped? <clears throat> uh, they're, they're circular shaped, but there is like a keyhole in there. And there's also a layer of lead. So oh, under the stone is a layer of lead. And you've been at school long enough to know that lead blocks almost all detection magic of any kind. Yeah, it's a nope from me. I'm trying to get into more shit. Little <laughs> mental image, though, for sure. Let me fix this. Understanding lies. In the Ariana heart solved of it last time. Works. Sounds like an Ariana question. <laughs> you know, when I get back up. <laughs> she is our resident Riddler. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Can you help me with the Sudoku? Right. Riddle sure. this Batman. <laughs> <laughs> No reason. <laughs> Casually mixing a potion, learning about what she is in the universe, and like, yeah, sure, I can have a look at the riddle. <laughs> Sig's extra homework just floating as a book in front of her. She's, you know, just. Yeah, exactly. 
Combining it. Where's the time turner, baby? <laughs> All right. Back in the depths of Tarselmoor Hall, uh, you quickly reunite with Master Elnel, who, as I said, is bearing the staff of the Archmagus. I had a talk with the sage. She vouched for me for the whole council. Really? Yes. Is she sus? Is she looking sus? Roll an insight check against oh, Master L now. Oh, she's sus. Oh, she's sus. <laughs> 22. Uh, she does not seem to be sus. That's sus. <laughs> That's sus Her lack of sus. sus is not yeah. sus. <laughs> Susception. <laughs> I think Garnet will be extra overjoyed by this, whether or not L now or or not as sus of that is up to her. Um, does she say anything else? What's so important? I was supposed to have a meeting about the transfer of power, which is going to take a lot of planning. I'm here instead. What do you need? Transfer of power to you? Yes. Ah! It's like, is there like a high five? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> She is considerably less energetic about the entire thing, but still. Like, is that fitting to her character, or should I be? Would I be worried? No, I mean it, it's L now. She doesn't get super like hyped and excited about anything. Um, she she takes grim satisfaction in things, or like, yes, you're doing a great job. But she, she doesn't tend to get like super, you know. She's a powerful void mage. She keeps it level for the most part, except when she's fragging the crap out of people. Oh, well, it seems like the uh, old woman is wise after all. And Garnet's very pleased with herself. Uh, which brings me to why I wanted to talk about the sage. Uh, look, I... I wanted to take responsibility for what I did. Because you're in a position where I'm holding you back from your end game, which is being at the Archmage seat. And I felt I was holding you back. So I told the Sage that I made the sphere. But listen, wait, before you freak out, I had a good reason. I explained, I told her the truth. I said that I made it. And it was because I lost control of my powers, which is, was the reason in that you only lied so that I wouldn't get kicked from the school so that, because if I got kicked from the school, then I wouldn't learn how to control this power and then more spheres would be created. And, you know, it was for the safety of everyone, including myself, that I stay at the academy and you wanted to prevent me getting expelled. So you lied for that reason to protect everyone. So you're fine. And that's it for that part. It is going to be extremely difficult to get rid of her from now on. What, what do you mean get rid of her? Uh, not get rid of her. Get rid of her. Just now that do she... Get rid of her? No. Well, just now that she knows about you and your anomalous abilities, she's probably going to stay nearby to learn more, to understand more, to continue to see if you pose a threat to the four kingdoms. The priority of staying at the school just went up a notch or two over leaving to thwart infernal influence out in the world. Yeah. I'm but... not saying you did the wrong thing. That's just the consequences that I foresee. Right. But at least I knew that was the only thing holding you back from being Archmage. And I feel like that was a good trade off of you're now the most powerful seat at the school. And I don't need that protection, but. You technically are her boss now, so you'll keep her in her in her place. And I'm not trying to destroy the school, so I am gonna be out of trouble. Not. So I'm not in charge of the sage. The sage isn't even part of the academy. The sage is completely outside this power structure. Well, she can't just like can't she just ban her from coming? <laughs> She's an invited guest then, and uninvite her. If she poses a problem. Gil, guys, this is my Discord. I am a mon. 
<laughs> Watch your stab or face for consequences. <sighs> that so could be politically complicated. That might not be the only politically complicated thing that is occurring. Okay, okay, just give me a moment. Okay, yeah. Oh, void. One disaster. Stillness. I am an empty vessel. I am a lake of glass. Okay, Garnet, what's the other thing? Um, well, there's a whole bunch of stuff that happened when we had dinner with the sage last night. Uh, one of them being, we don't really like each other. I don't think that's news to you, though, right? Okay. No. Um, so I might have just said some things, and I might have made her more mad. To be fair, I was playing a checkmate, and she wasn't even playing chess at all. She does not want to play any games, and she does not want... To, and she's very stupid politically, to be completely honest. But at least she did what I told her. So it's fine. But also, my mom... Uh, did you know about my mom? Maybe not. But she's on a war rampage right now, and she is looking for me, right? And she's been causing some trouble. And I might have been like, you know, Sage kind of withheld information from Rantha about my presence and might have known that they were looking for me and never told me. So the Sage is in a political demo dilemma where if my mother were to find out that the Sage was, I don't know, hiding me or withholding stuff, my mom might want to kill her. So I kind of just... You know, I, I would say present the idea, let, let's say dangled that carrot in front of the sage for her to listen to me because she doesn't respect me. I have no idea why. And um, so I haven't written to my mom. So she I don't think she's on her way. But there are people that know I'm here that are from Brantha. So I have concerns that my mom could come here. And Brantha. Okay, first off, um, that's not a carrot, that's a stick. Okay, yeah. All right, good. Just to clarify the terminology. Second, with the arc with Ioth gone, Brontha gets word. Okay, that's. That could be you complicated. Like bridge when that, my mom does get. I don't know if she will ever get here and I, I was thinking of writing to her but I don't know what to say uh well what do you want to say sorry for disappearing and being a menace to society <laughs> uh you know, and then I rolled the, these funny dice that Renan have, and then turns out if I went back home, that would be better for everyone, along with maybe Athelor apparently dying would be better for the world. So there's a lot of questions, including the fact that I, my whole fate is determined by me killing Alex since birth, or technically uh, the, the Herald, and I accomplished that, and now I feel like shit every day, and now I'm seeing Alex in my dreams. Lake of glass, lake of glass. It would not be better for everybody if you went back to Brontha. That's what the dice said. Well, I'm not the dice. And Aww. it wouldn't be better for me if you left. Divination is limited anyways. Okay, so that was probably referring to if you went back to Brontha, it would prevent tension and potential hostilities between the priest kingdom of Brontha and the academy. That is likely what that's referring to. Uh, your specific purpose being to kill the herald? Oh yeah, the sage did a, a ritual where she asked the universe, uh, mm -hmm. explaining in more arcana terms, but she mm -hmm. explained the to the, she asked the universe all these questions, including where's Merrick, which apparently he is also shouted, so woo. And uh, also <laughs> that, uh, who am I? My whole fate is around killing the Herald and Alex. And that really sucks because Alex was my best friend. And now he's dead because of me, or maybe he's not dead because he's maybe in the book. Uh, there's a lot going on. 
and I wish you would stop canceling our meetings so I can update you more on these things. I'm sorry. I am being, not being saddled. I am taking up responsibility for every life and every mind in this school. And you are still important. You are still a priority, but there are a lot of lives on the line now. More so than ever in my hands specifically. And I'm going to be busier. I'm going to have to be busier. I'm not going to forsake you. We're still going to have our lessons, but there's just a lot more to deal with at once. Let's take this one step at a time. Focus on your studies for now. We will handle every part of what you've described. First off, I don't think you should write a letter to your mother until you know exactly what it is that you want to say and you have talked to me about it because you were raised in the city, in the royalty. You know this is not going to just be a letter from a long-lost daughter to her mother. This is going to be a political envoy from a place that has been holding you with limited amounts of knowledge for years while another power was at war to find you. It's going to be a very tense. It has to be handled carefully to prevent conflict. The sphere is damaged. Ioth is gone. We've already taken casualties from being attacked by one titan after another. We do not need the priest kingdom of Brontha to come marching towards us. So do not write that letter without talking to me first. We will work on it together. Think about what you want. Think about yourself as a daughter and as a person. Then we will we'll work together to reach out, okay? I do want you to, I don't want you to leave and I don't want a war between us, but I also want you to be happy. Yeah, and I'm so, happy here, uh, right. helping the school, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, sorry about the sphere thing, but I think that helped you, hopefully. I, you totally deserve to be Archmage. It's actually bullshit that, you know, they didn't just promote you. But I hope that helped uh, ease some tension in that back room. Uh, and don't worry about me. No promises. Sage when also hates me, but that's fine. I have her mm. occupied right now. She when also knows I killed the Herald. <laughs> Lake of glass. Lake of glass. Lake of glass. <laughs> okay. I, I explained that it was an accident. I didn't say that I knew or anything. I just said that Zaylar just flew out of me <clears throat> and, and killed uh, the Herald. But that's fine because I'm trying to tell her I'm on the same side as her. So I, I, I reveal this information sort of on purpose so she would understand that I'm on the same side of, as her, even though I hate her. We are all on the same side. And then that's when she, you know, laxed up and she is helping us answer all these questions about me and Aflor and all this stuff. So, uh, she wasn't that suspicious. Told her the truth. Oh, okay. Well, it's not my fault. It was Zaylor. I didn't, first of all, I didn't ask Zaylor to do that. <clears throat> Zaylor just did it. The gods tend to just do things. Okay. So now you know what she knows, so to prepare you for your next meeting. Told you this was important. It is. Thank you. This was, this was, <laughs> made the right call. Could have been an email, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Focus on your classes and think about what you want to say to your mother. We'll figure out why you're dreaming about Alex. We'll figure out what happened to him and where he went. When I take over the mantle of the Archmage, the Book of Dawn will be my responsibility. Apparently he's in the book. Well, great. We'll go find him. Do you think he's alive if he's in the I book? I don't understand how it works at all. Okay, you should... Get on it's, it's, it's on the list. I'm at this meeting instead, which is a valid, important meeting. But yes, I have a lot to do, Garnet. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. I'm just... Finding, figuring out what happened to Alex, figuring out why there's a new student walking around out of nowhere, figuring out what happened with the Herald, what oh. happened with the Phoenix Lord, whose name I would be a little bit less cavalier about saying off the cuff, just in case he hears you, which may or may not be a good thing. Finding that rat bastard, Mirik. 
Because if anyone can find him, if he's shrouded from normal magic, we're the ones who are going to have to track him down. Oh, Sage is going to help. That. <laughs> Great. Can't, uh, can't wait to work more with her. Very excited well, about that. He's looking at someone else and not me, so that's great. Uh, also, uh, we might have discovered that Alex created Renan. So finding, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I just, I've missed you. There's so much to catch up on. Someone else getting law dumped. <laughs> so this is what so... it's like to be in one of my own campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. So somehow from the book, he created Brennan. So just to update you on everything so you have something to, you know, marinate about in your next meeting. I'm going to ask Rednop for help. Yeah, what's, what's he thinking about us? I haven't seen him yet. He's been busy prognosticating the future of the Academy and foreseeing potential threats. Uh, I'm going well, to... we're fine, so threats must not come from us. Well, we're going to redirect his attention towards figuring out some of these things with his magic. He has access to some of the same powers that the sage does, just not the dream stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. That was a lot. That was important. Is there anything else? You know, it's, it's a long night. I feel like you have to take in a lot of what I said. Uh, scoots the Titan heart mold behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a sleight of hand check, please. <laughs> she definitely brought that with her. We're like kind of looting our ass off here. Six. <laughs> <laughs> An 11. Oh. Uh, Garnet. What's that? Oop. Oh. The thing's this? huge, by the way. Remember, oh, it's very okay. large. <laughs> I thought it was yeah, like no, it's, it's a Ghana. Titan's heart mold. It's not like four feet across, but like it's at least a foot across. Fucking god. <laughs> um, I found it. Step ladder. What is it? And where'd you find it? Is she like mad at this point? <laughs> <laughs> she said she's she, this is a lot and she seems like she's dealing with a lot i'm not gonna say she's mad but disappointed parent <laughs> just just exasperated parent you know can't get five minutes of peace and quiet get home from work and the kid is you know going through a difficult teenagerhood getting into trouble trying to keep him from doing drugs ariana um hey. so <laughs> <laughs> Babe, wake up, the just, apocalypse just dropped. Just a lot. Just a lot going on. Not not mad, but just kind of like, what is it? So the you know, we're very honest between us. And you'll always be Master L now to me, not just the Archmage, but L now to me. Uh so you know that dinner with the sage? Well, it might have been because uh she found Ariana in uh the insert tarsal room thing name of the office uh and i'm you know i was able to evade her she doesn't know i was there but i found this thing in that room and i was very curious why parcel is making hearts of titans and i figured since i'm down here you know while i'm waiting for you or getting canceled on i i could like read about tarsal Moore's stuff it seems really interesting he had a whole golem in there and stuff <clears throat> Okay, from now on, that's my office, so please don't take anything else from my office without talking to me about it first, okay? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Can I roll another slide of hand check? Yes, you can. Hide the horn of Faderate. That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd like to think that previously, you were wearing it like a, like a party at like a drug Oh my unicorn. god. What is that? <laughs> what? That! That horn! What is that? It's hard. I don't know what it is. It makes juice, though. <laughs> it makes good juice. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me I see it. Disappointed. Dude, it she over. actually needs this juice. She's having a tipple of a wine glass of evening. <laughs> that, that really fucked up Brennan when he drank the whole thing. What, what is it made out of? Yeah, this is this is sky cider. This stuff is Ooh. strong. Ooh. That sounds delicious. What? Why did you let that Okay, go? I'm keeping this. What? At least you until drunk. midterms are over. Okay. If I pass? We can talk. 
But no Please. more taking things from the Archmage's office. There are things in there that could destroy your mind just by reading them. Shut your mouth, Garnet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I... Okay. 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 All right. We, we can talk about it. We can go through things. Just, just... I was looking for Alex. I was looking for how to get Alex out of the book. Okay, so I had a legit reason. I'm sorry for going in your office. All right, just don't, just, just, just don't do that anymore. Let me, let me see that. And she points at the mold. I still haven't taken inventory of everything that happened up there. You know, he doesn't have any yeah. records. He kept no, no records whatsoever of everything that was lying around in there. There are doors I still haven't unlocked. Which yeah, the school budget's about 20% smaller oh. than you thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that. yeah, I kind of felt like the sage was like following us around because she like just went in there looking for us. Kind of weird, but we uh, she only found Ariana, so it's fine. But that's how we I did her with her. So funny little time okay. we had. Okay, all right. I will try to figure out what this is when I'm not. I'll, I will work on figuring out what this is, and I will tell you. Go focus on your exams. We'll talk about all of this. All right. Okay. Was there anything else? <clears throat> You're not going to cancel on me anymore, are you? I will let you know in advance. Okay. I, 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 I'm not going to be available every single night, but you are still important to me. These lessons are crucial. I'm just going to be busier now. I'm, I'm becoming the Archmage. It comes with the territory. Aww. High five. Back to study. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did anybody have anything that they needed to take care of or that I left floating up in the air before we actually get to the end of the week in your midterms? No, just out of politeness, Athelor returns the Unstone to Ariana. Ah, that's right. That's right. Okay. She, she was, uh, as it was kind of promised to her as for loot, and mm -hmm. <laughs> she was like, hold the bag, Athelor, I'm going to go <laughs> check to the sage. <laughs> that's right. Yes, I forgot. Literally yeah, the okay. bag, man. Athelor has has retained the bag. That's, yes, that's I, I have know. riches unbeknownst to the minds <laughs> of mortals, and here's a stone. Hey, can I have a hundred gold too while you're at it in there? <laughs> yes, you can, can have a hundred gold. Yes, it's we like a... we stole a. We have twenty percent of our treasure, but in terms of hard oh. currency, I have twenty platinum pieces, so I give her ten for reagents for potioning. Sweet. Uh. Ariana, roll an herbalism kit check, please. Let's do it. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I almost rolled that with strength. That would have been really bad. <laughs> okay. Eight, and roll an alchemist's tools check, please. <clears throat> you may take 18 gold off the cost of reagents for picking things from the garden and uh, just being good at alchemy and making potions. Pong. So you're gonna spend a hundred gold from that platinum, but retain eighteen of it. You've heard of a it's green thing there for the five finger discount. But what about the green thumb discount? Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Are we ready for midterms? Da, no. da, da. Whoever is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Athelor Untermaller is back, and his class is much smaller than it used to be. Hilde is back, as are several of the other students, but a lot of others did not return when his course resumed. Out of politeness, when entering the classroom, Athelor kind of lays the iron necklace like, I assume, like wherever you'd hang coats. Mm hmm. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> clink, clink, clink. <laughs> <just, laughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ned's still there. Um, there's a 10 minute waiting period to make sure that any buffs or spells people have cast have expired because it is a non-magically assisted midterm. Still got my mage armor on. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you see Untamal is scanning the whole classroom. He looks at you for a moment, kind of peers, nods his head. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Preparedness. <laughs> yeah, the, the Untamaler is not going to fault you for being armored at all times. The first check you need to make on this midterm is a history check. You have one free reroll from your successful studies. Mm, poggies. And an act of God. 
<laughs> and you do uh, have I, your your d20 I, active gods that joke yeah. can make you fail and your exam the, terribly. the bobs of damocles <laughs> <laughs> All right, a 16, that's a success. And the second half is insight. Because history is all about knowing maneuvers and such, but insight is all about when they do this, what do you do? The enemy is like, a, a general is moving their forces into this formation. What is going through their mind? That sort of picking their brain sort of thing. Roll an insight check. Bam. A dirty 20. You have aced your exam. Let's go, let's go, dude. Wait, if if there's only two rolls, can I can I use the re-roll anyway on the history to see sure, if Sure, yeah, go for it. it out? Go for it. Min max. Oh, ho -ho! Min -maxing out here. Yeah, you, you're the guy who walks in, fills everything out, walks out in like five minutes, and I feel like that's some good mage armor. <laughs> <laughs> Re respect, homie. All right, Garnet. You are in Underworld Studies. That's a, first an Arcana check to know all about the elemental wellsprings and the cycle of energy that flows up and back down through the Underworld. And the second check is about religion, discussing the fate of souls and the nature of the cycle of reconstitution rather than reincarnation. Give me an Arcana check and you have one reroll you can use on these. Trying to figure out if I want to cheat. I don't know if I want to cheat. <laughs> In a cheaty mood. Okay. Take 18 notes. on your arcana roll and a oh, 22 on your religion oh, roll. You could still, ca if you want to try to overachieve, you can cash in your reroll and take the better of the two on the arcana. Is that the last rolls for midterm? Yeah, it's just two rolls. Oh. But I take the better roll, right? Yeah, you take the better roll. Oh, oh roll to overachieve. Let's go, dude. <laughs> All right. Play Roll the on Dean's list. <laughs> Ace. <laughs> Roll for valedictorian. <laughs> Roll to not be Ariana. Speaking of which, Ariana, uh -huh. in your other world studies, you have an Arcana check and you have a Nature check. Now you succeeded in your studies with your Boggles. That's good. But you also spread yourself very thin the week before. That's bad. So. Uh -huh. You are going to have disadvantage on the first roll, the Arcana roll. Oh, no. Now, you can cash in your Boggle Studies to cancel it out and roll a flat roll. And chat's giving you inspiration, so, you know, they're taking mercy Aww. on you. Um, ah. So how, yeah. do you want, how do you want to do this? Do you want to use your inspiration to cancel out the disadvantage? Yes. Okay. In instantly burning the inspiration Roll an Arcana check, and this is about the magical properties of the other world. Do you want to use your Boggle die? Yeah. Go ahead and roll again. I invoke the Bobs of Damocles. Oh, nice. Okay, all right. That gives you an extra reroll because he just used his act of God. <laughs> Thank you, Athelor. <laughs> the disadvantage was kind of my fault. Okay. Okay. We're gonna take a fourteen on the Arcana check. Okay. You feel yeah. when you sit down at first, your brain goes completely blank, and then you try to remember what the Boggles told you, and all you can remember is the piles of weird stuff that they were building and and their squeaky little voices, but you couldn't and like the <laughs> noises that they made, and none of their answers were coming to you. But then out of nowhere, you just started writing, and when you open your eyes, you're like. Oh, I think that's right. <laughs> that, that, I think. I think that I just sounds got possessed way too by a familiar. very scholarly ghost. <laughs> Don't like how familiar that feels. Okay. With one inspiration burned and your boggle dice gone, the second half of this is a nature check. And it has everything to do with the important connections between the other world and the spirits that dwell within and how they often embody things in the mortal world. Mortal plants have otherworldly fae that are their spirits. They're, they're gods, basically. Give me a nature check. A 19. I'll take it. Take it. Everything up, baby. Okay. C's get the green. Yeah. <laughs> well, despite everything and despite burning the candle at both ends, Ariana passes with a good grade. Woo. Let's go. 
All right. Let's go. And it's the weekend. It's, it's, you know, Friday has passed. It's the weekend. Everyone's done their exams. Everyone's talking. Everyone's spending time out on, uh, away from Tarsal Moor, out in some of the gardens, in the beautiful emotion dampening well of Parlona, out on the quad, in the sun, enjoying the new tone of light that's sort of coming through the golden sphere. Uh, what are the a lot of you doing with your free time now that you're out? What are all our after school clubs? I think after law's in drama and dueling. Oh, I thought everyone was like Codex plus something. You only take Codex if you're actually like not just showing up to meetings, but in actively <laughs> engaging with it. <laughs> yes, it's not me. Don't give a shit. <laughs> like Avalor and Ariana are very deep in the like. What, what, we're here to support Garnet our friends. The... <laughs> yeah, we were here to support Alex, and now we're here to support Garnet. But mm -hmm. the degree of fucks we give is incredibly low. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. So Garnet, if you want to be elevated up to uh, the highest rank in the Codex. You should probably think about spending one of your after school slots on it. Wasn't I already promoted because I won the tournament? She was. I'm a scholar, like right? Uh, the Codex was putting it to a vote, which hasn't passed yet because, as it turns out, almost everyone in the Codex is incredibly apathetic about it. So I think that. Uh, given, the, <laughs> given the lack of, like, I put it to the community and everyone who's in the Codex, some of them literally rolled their eyes at Cryus trying to promote uh, Garnet. Because everyone knows that he's been crushing on her for years. <laughs> but nobody really objected. So I think Cryus is basically planning on just, okay, we're doing this. It's happening. Um, but yeah, you can choose not to make it one of your extracurriculars. But if you do, then, you know. Oh, yeah. I have Codex plus Debate. Cool. I forgot what the Codex die does, though. Does that overlap with Debate? Uh, Arcana and History. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh. Okay. Bam! Oh, Dropped it in chat. Thank you. Oh, look at that. And chat, you too can get involved <laughs> by joining the Discord and being a supporter of Castles and Castles. You can make a community NPC to attend IOTH Academy, the greatest institute of magical learning in the Four Kingdoms. One like day with the grade A reads, as always. <laughs> <laughs> so is this extracurricular time? Yeah, well, extracurriculars go on during the week. It, it's like you go to all your classes and then after school, oh, I've got debate. I can't hang out. I've got this. I've got that. And one of the things that happens if you bomb an exam is that they pull you out of your extracurriculars because you have to do extra studies to make sure that you don't fall behind. Uh, glad that hasn't happened to me yet. <laughs> always managing to skim by somehow um but like you you've got your your extracurriculars but you also just have like finally you have a weekend where you aren't grinding and studying and yeah you probably have homework from your various courses but you have a chance to catch up and and scheme remember cryas is talking about breaking into tarsal moore's vault because he thinks that there's going to be a paired mirror down Good there point. Oh, yeah, I forgot to bring that up. So I'll bring it up to the gang, especially mm -hmm. Ariana, giving her another uh, riddle to solve. Ooh. Bring Inch, forth the, the riddle again, please. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we're, do we want to go ahead and uh, everybody lurks down in the crypts? I think Garnet just tells us the riddle, right? Like, <laughs> we haven't fully committed to the crypts yet. We're probably, like, uh, uh, down on the lawn just chatting, being mm -hmm. bros and homies. Yeah. Like, yo, here's a riddle, by the way. I can, like, minor illusion what it looks like from the mental image mm -hmm. oh, and tell them the inscription. So we could be, like, lawn chairing it up outside, get some okay. grass touching in. <laughs> all right, so you're all, you're all touching grass. Uh, and can you all see this right now? Yes. Yes. So there's 110 <clears throat> keyholes. And underneath it says, understanding lies in the heart of my works. Hmm. Um. Well, kind of inches her head. I thought it'd be the square root, but square root of 110 is a as a decimal, so never mind. Do you reckon Sig would let us borrow his heart? No, oh, I don't think people just give those out. No, no. don't think that would be appropriate to a ask. Heist, for. I heist then. I. <laughs> How the would mold? you propose to steal his heart without him knowing? I don't know. Ice asleep, rebooting. 
Like, does, th does, does it does it even pump? Does the blood move? I don't even think he has. Is it no, he doesn't even have blood. He doesn't bleed. I don't even think he has a heart. I don't think he needs one. Yeah. We need to ascertain. What about his works? The like his the notes? Heart. Like, don't you have his golem book, Athor? Yeah, I do have his golem book. How are we doing on that potion? Did you shake it for note? any keys in there? One more week of work on that to complete it, by the way. Still working on that. So it's gonna take a while. Um not very verbose, but reading Tarsomore's book, Brain Hurty. It is um it kind of wiped out me and Renin last time, which is why we've got Ariana working on the potion of maybe making my mind a little bit less destructible from reading it. Should help. Yeah. And maybe that has an answer to what's in the vault. Maybe there's something similar to this because it, it seemed like that was some pretty important Tarsimor work, right? Well, did you get... Did you figure out what goes in the keyholes? Does it... It looks like key... Keys? Yes. They are keyholes and you do not currently have a key that would match them. Really? Not even the ones from the chest that we got from... Not even the ones from the chest. They don't match. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Did you check for any magical properties of this door? There's like lead and stuff, so I can't tell any magical stuff on the other side, but... Oh. I don't know. And there's no magic used for the keys that go in these holes? I don't have detect magic, but... Well... Where is this? Maybe I could go down and take a look. Yeah, we can just go see it in person if you guys want to poke around at it. Sure. Why not? Sure. Why right. not? Plenty of time. Lee, lee, lee. From the beautiful, <laughs> warm <laughs> sunlight of the quad down into the murky depths of the crypts of Tarselmore oh. Hall, past the massive door and the southern face underneath the rock, somewhere out there, you're underneath feet and feet of water. And you're faced with this very door, 110 keyholes. Wow, you were not kidding. This is huge. The door has no visible seam on it. It looks like just a big stone seal. If you look at the keyholes, you can tell there are real keyholes under inside the round holes. But there's a thin sheet of lead, a fairly thick sheet of lead, honestly, like half an inch of lead between the rock and whatever lies beyond it. Properties of the riddle, is it chiseled in? Is this some rune writing? It is chiseled in to the bottom. Okay. I guess Ariana will use detect magic on mm. the door. You detect no magic. But mm -hmm. lead blocks detection spells. Good point. Should be one of us cast identify to see. Well, I guess if we can't detect it, then correct. Oh. identify help. would also be blocked. Okay. I attempt to create a telepathic bond with a door. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Somewhere you hear Asena's voice saying, "I am a rock. <laughs> I am going to be a rock." But in actuality, <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Well, it's 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 not like the letters are you know, switched around at all so that we have to figure that out. Seems pretty straightforward that understanding lies in the heart of Tarsal Wars works. And Athelwood, there was nothing in the golem book, like a key? Uh, no, nothing physical that I can remember. It is bloody heavy, though. We didn't see any keys in that room, right? Hmm. I still think it's Sig. Wait, metagaming How would it hurt? Ariana did tell us about Sig, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I think I shared but all of that information when talking about... Uh, the golem that we saw in the... Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just checking. Well, well, 
maybe um, I'm supposed to see the greenhouse later tonight. Maybe I can ask Sig about this door. Should I be yeah. upfront about it, or should I just kind of casually hint? ask if he's uh, got a heart you could borrow? I don't know about that one. No, well worth a try. Yeah, that, would, that doesn't seem like he would. He not know if he was jiggling around a key. Do we have like a metal detection spell? Can we just metal detect his ass? I feel like or you would have to be able to do something like that because, uh, I mean, you could create water. Why can't you identify metal? I haven't learned that though. Does anyone have the locate object spell? Nope. Nope. Is it uh, on the wizard list? I'm about to look for that. It's actually. always on the wizard list. <laughs> A wizard who doesn't know their spells. <laughs> Look, wizards can know, like, second. every spell. <clears throat> One second. Oh. Let me see. Oh, this is a lot. <laughs> well, okay, object is being done. Athelor, like, <clears throat> plucks out one of his hairs, kind mm -hmm. of, like, folds it in half, and then just, like, of a long extended end, just kind of like nestles it in one of the keyholes to see if some shit happens. I do, I do have that spell. <laughs> no shit happens, and even if that spell's not in your spell book, you could definitely add it to your spell book because you're a wizard, and wizards can just do stuff. But you're a wizard, Ariana. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how long that would take. Uh, it says concentration up to 10 minutes. Sorry, to, to copy the spell into your book because you don't know it unless it's copied into your spell book. True, true, true. You're right. And the Academy will absolutely hook you up with that spell, but it could take some time. It could take some research, you know, that sort of thing. So learning new spells. Okay, yeah, no, you can you can copy that basically. Just at, hey, can I copy this from a spell book? And they'll be like, yeah, check this one out. That's a that's a not a dangerous spell. You can definitely learn it. You just need like a day to I copy it and then memorize it into your spell book. So add it to your spell list, and you can do this tomorrow if you want, but not tonight. Score. Uh, meanwhile, I would like Athalor to roll one d eight, please. Okay. <laughs> Serious rolls. And it's a three. A three. And I would like Garnet to roll 1d12, please. I don't like that. Nine. Look at all these multiple. Okay. All right. Where are you going after you're poking around down here and you decide that Ariana is going to try to learn a spell to see if there's keys? I did want to try one thing. Mm -hmm. If I may, I do have pillars board pieces on me. Uh huh. And I don't know if they're like actual chest shape or what shape they are. They do have round bases, but they don't fit into the uh, into the. Holes I was just here. trying to like jiggle some of the locks to see if like. Ones would jiggle and others wouldn't to be like a real and a fake keyhole. Like mm, try and mm, okay. just do that. All right. I like that idea. Also have like the ivory amulet if that's smaller and sharper to like just go. Just enough to jiggle the keyhole to see if it's real mm -hmm. or not. I like that idea. Okay. Uh, roll a dexterity check, please, with disadvantage. You're not Yay. proficient and you don't have the right tools for the job. Okay. A 10. Can't really tell if anything's going on there. The fit what isn't I, quite right. Go ahead. What if I use my jeweler's tools? I would let you roll. Still not with proficiency because this is the wrong application. This is an application for thieves tools, which oddly enough, Alexander was proficient in. Ah, uh, not tough. 
Uh, but go ahead and roll a dexterity check without disadvantage. And what? Which one are you trying? By the way, which keyhole? Mm-hmm. Um. You can use the ruler to point to one of them. How do I do that? Click oh. the ruler tool on the left hand side, and then you this can. This one. Hello. All right. So this that one in the middle. This one bottom. right here. Okay, roll a dexterity check, a flat dexterity check. No disadvantage, no proficiency. A 15. Okay. When you sort of jiggle and poke this one without actually triggering it, you notice that all of the ones around it are also jostling ever so slightly. That's weird. Oh, they're all like connected. I guess they have to be. So it means the middle keyhole will probably turn the ones around it, which will turn the ones around those, which will turn around the whole thing. Well, maybe then this is the keyhole. We just need to find the key. So any of them can be the key. <laughs> Or maybe this isn't the keyhole at all, and it's just a decoy? Well, we'll have infinite tries once we get the actual key. True. At least they're not fake, so... Yeah, it's a good That's what thing. I was wondering. As an artisan of sculpting, I would like to have a look at this inscription and see if I can vaguely date uh, what kind of state it's in. Mm -hmm. And if that would indicate how old it is. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a sculptor's tools check. Mm, proficiency? With proficiency, yes. Bam. No. <laughs> <laughs> this appears to be some manner of writing. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes, the floor is made of floor. And <laughs> on that triumphant note, we'll go ahead and leave our heroes to ponder this while we take a short break. When we come back, the school year will progress. We'll see if our heroes can delve into the mysteries beneath Tarselmore Hall. We'll see what the sage has been up to, and we'll see what's going on with the Fey incursion. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. IOF Academy will return shortly.